Welcome to Step by Step. Every Saturday at 4 p.m., I'm painting and taking you along on the journey, step by step. Today I'm painting a custom order for a customer, and she wants the secretary painted. And we're going to do some amazing color combination on this. We're starting with Moonshine Metallics in the gold. The piece has been coated with the Boss uh, stain and odor blocking primer and uh, that's to prevent bleed through and don't forget to store your moonshine metallics anything with metal, metal particles um, tends to settle so rather than shake it it's better to stir it so we're just applying a coat on the bottom and originally I had planned on just doing the feet but as I started painting, it ended up that I'm including that base section as well. And I'm really happy because it'll show up between the drawers. Are you ready for this color? We are using Dixie Belle's Peony. Whoa! It's really bright. And my customer said, how about pink? And I was just thrilled that she said that because I was thinking this bright pink right from the beginning. And when I picked up the jar, she didn't even flinch, so I was thrilled. Um, it'll get a little bit of a distress too, uh, but it looks amazing with the, the Moonshine Metallics. It looks very regal. So um, don't judge the, the piece until you see <laughs> what's happening next. And don't be afraid of color. I'm so glad my client uh, was not afraid of color. When I teach classes, lots of times people will come in and they want to paint with white. And I try to encourage them to choose a color because white is just white, right? Um, <laughs> so let's, let's uh, adventure into the world of color a little bit. And this is a lot, maybe a lot, maybe work your way up. <laughs> maybe use soft pink first. <laughs> But when I paint these, I just kind of start in the middle, paint that dip. You can see how highly pigmented the paint is. And then just kind of work my way on the ends and then do a nice sweeping stroke when I'm done, uh, just to keep it even. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe and also hit the notifications bell so you won't miss anything. So I continue to paint these drawers. Every stroke of paint gets me closer to uh, seeing the amazing finished product and I'm so excited about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I continue along with the sides and um, I'm using a Dixie Belle synthetic brush because it holds a lot of paint. So you want to use the right brush for the job if you're painting a smaller area, obviously a smaller brush. Oops, I hit the camera. <laughs> so see how just that applies that paint? So it's so satisfying to transform those areas. And now I have switched to a much smaller brush because I'm going to do uh, the detail work in between this area. And it ends up that I even switch to a smaller detail brush. So um, I kind of lay the color on up close to the top with this one and then come back in with a tiny brush. Um, when you're working with meeting colors together like this, uh, very often you end up touching up both of the colors one after the other. Um, it just works that way sometimes and that's what you have to do um, to get your project to look neat. Um, you can use tape if you want, painter's tape. I'm not a taper, just just uh, like to freehand and I often use both hands actually. So um, now I am using that smaller brush and getting close to the edge where the, the gold digger is. So isn't it pretty that, that pink peony color with the gold? He's starting to like it a little bit more and be a little less shocked. I can't wait to see this, uh, how this looks in the lady's living room. She actually has a navy blue carpet and she has floral too. So I, I think we're gonna have a home run even though it sounds a little chaotic. 
So now I'm putting a second coat of Gold Digger on. And with Moonshine Metallics, every coat you apply, it gets more lustrous and gorgeous. So we're probably even going to put a third coat on here. But it's just so reflective and such a deep layering of color that just makes it so elegant. So I'm using a little flat brush, um, a small flat, and that's just perfect for these details. See how that just gets better and better? I like to make sure that it has a light coat underneath it so that it's really lustrous. Okay, check out the inside of this desk. This is going to be a two-part, and we're going to deal with the inside of it next week, which is going to be a lot of fun. I love anything that has lots of little cubbies, but this is really cool. Uh, it's a little secret box. You can put it that way. It looks like a book when you pull it out, but there's the secret stash. That's probably the best way to hide it. That way, if someone picks it up, they'll see the top of the book, and they won't bother to flip it. So that little door won't open. So I wonder if there's a key to that. Um, wonder what's inside there. Who knows? <laughs> so this part um, I'm having trouble with trying to, I think maybe the inside will come out. So I took a picture so I could see what it was. I want to thank you so much for watching today. And we hope you visit us at LaVintageDecor.company. And on Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor. And on Facebook, you'll find us at La Vintage Decor Altoona. Stay well.